was here a moment ago. No, I haven't uh, seen it. What? I haven't seen it ever. I, I've lost it. I've, Wouldn't you argue? Uh, the problems uh, the man. Uh, have you seen it? No, 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 I can't see anything. I keep telling you. It was here a moment ago. I had it. I had it. Now I don't know where it is. Pick it up. It's probably up there again. It's gone right up there. What is it? What What have you got? Damn it, man. What is it? I've lost my line. You've lost your line? My line. Have you, have you been with Frank Boff in the lavatory again? No, I've lost my line. I, I don't know what to say. You've lost your line? My line. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I was here a moment ago. I mean... I did the thing where I walked in, got you a drink, well, uh, yes. and then I was supposed to sit here, according to the directions, sit here, yes. move about, look frustrated, and I don't know why, because I've lost my line. I, I'm, I'm just completely uh, clueless as to what to do. I bet it was that bloody no lemons. I bet he snuck in here, stole my line. Yeah. He's always doing that. Yeah. I mean, he did it with Schrodinger, didn't he, with that bloody box. Right? I'm, I I have to confess, I'm a small amount confused by all this. Someone's stolen your line. My line, so I don't know what to say. But you've just said that. That's not my line. Well, whose line could, is that? Well, whose line is it anyway? Well, I don't know. I, I won't watch him anymore. Is that my line? This, no, no, that was... Well, I just said it, so I thought it would... I, I, that was my line. What are you... Right. Red. Red. I think we've got a slight problem here with reality. Now then, do you understand the uh, concept of you being a real person and not a fictional construct? I don't know. Is that my line? No, that's not your line. It's a question. Oh. Do you understand that you're a real man and not written for by an author? Do I do that downstage left or downstage right? No, no, no. You can stay there in the chair after chair, getting me a right. gin. You got me the gin. Right. And that's how things are meant to go. Now you've got confused. Yes. Yes. So... Do you understand? Am I confused? Do you want me to look confused? Oh, you can play it that way. Well, it's, it's not it's not hard for me. Fucking method acting, isn't it? Well, no, okay. So, what I, what I'm asking you at the moment is, um, do you understand that you're a real human being, and this is a real situation? You're in a real place. You're not on a film set. You're not in a theatre. This is a real thing, and things are happening, and you're real. Do you understand this? Am I still getting paid? Paid for what? For the part. Paid for your part. Yes. I've never paid you for your part, and I don't intend to start that. Only because I've got a, a meeting later, and I've, I've got a few bills to settle. Right. Who's paying you for your part? Well, I thought you were. I'm paying... Why? Right. I think we've got a slight problem here. Right. I, I'm paying you to... Are you suggesting I'm paying you to be my friend? How dare you? How dare you? We've got an arrangement going back to 1923. I bought your friendship of your mother. I bought your friendship for 14 pounds, and that was for a lifetime. I don't intend to pay more. Is that what you're talking about? Disgusting. Well, no, I'm, of course I'm not saying that. In any way, uh, if anybody pays for anybody's friendship, it's me. I'm the one who buy all the bloody drinks. You pay you. for the drinks, you pay for the gin. That doesn't allow you anything. That doesn't allow you friendship. That allows you the pleasure of me sitting here talking to you for a small amount of time. Just waiting for somebody else, though. Yeah. This is not the point. The point is, is that I've lost my line and I don't know what the bloody hell is going on anymore. Right, OK, I think we can sort... Tell me what to do, for I'm God's sake. Have what... you got your line? I... Um, oh dear God! Uh, Look yeah. at your line. Right. Uh, get it out. I did get it out. I got in trouble. Let me do a line. Right. Um, here's my line. Oh, good idea. Um, uh, right. Uh, hello. I'm Noel Edmonds. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Oh. Ah. Oh, I think I know what my line is now. What's your line? No, Edmonds, you bloody bugger. That's the line. Here's five pounds. <coughs> Have you seen my oil lamp? No. Ever? Well, once. Once at a party. So, in fact, when you said no, this was a total lie. You have seen well, my I, oil yes, lamp. Well, yes, I saw it at that party that uh, Nina Zabaroni held. Yes. You, know, so you, you saw took it. it as a date. I did. And you saw it. You, you wouldn't let Fiona go because well. you, thought you, had it, you thought you had a good chance of Nina Zabaroni. Oh, Lena Zavaroni, absolutely, I thought I did. You and I'm fairly you, certain I would have done. You thought you were in there and you thought, oh, I'll take this oil lamp in with me as, yes. as, as a second date. And that yes. way, Lena would see me. Yes. 
be enamoured to me because of my taste in decor. Yes. And uh, I might get it in there. Oh, that was the plan. I might be in there. That was the plan. And then what happened? What happens 40 odd years later? I discover that you tell a lie. I discover that I'm here and I say, have you seen my old lamb? You say no. I say well, whatever I you and meant... you say yes. You just, uh, you just no. can't be trusted anymore. No, no, you no. can't be I... trusted. Has your brain gone? Have you got something wrong with you? Who's the Prime Minister? Who's the Prime Minister? Some foreign chap, isn't it? Oh, right. Uh, what's two times four times three times one times nine? Too much. Well, it is a lot. Yes, yes it is a lot. Much. It is a lot. It Let's is a cut lot. that back. Put it on the bill. We'll take, we'll take it to the, to the commons. Oh, well, I don't think this is going to help on the fact that you have clearly lied. You have told me an untruth. Lying. You told me an untruth. I said, have you seen my oil lamp? You said, no, I haven't. I said, whatever. You said, yes. I thought you were implying that you've lost it. I haven't and lost it. you were asking me if I'd seen it recently. I know. Not where, ever. I know where my oil lamp is. Or at least. A man should know where his oil lamp is. I think I know where it is. But now I'm not sure. Because as far as I'm concerned, if a man is a liar, he's probably also a thief. Well, if a man Where's my know, oil lamp? If a man doesn't know where his oil lamp is, then he's not a man. No, that's not he's the point. A, no. He's, he's an oil lampless man. No, no, he's not a man dealing that. with a thief. He's a man dealing no. with a thief. Where have you put it? I haven't put it anywhere. Man. Oh, I see. So first of all, you've never it seen it. You have seen it. Now you don't know where it is and I you do. apparently haven't stolen it. No. But we've already reached a conclusion, haven't we? That you're a liar. We've already reached that conclusion. You've told a lie. I have you're not saying you don't know where it is. got your oil lamp. I saw it. You sold my oil lamp? Yes. To whom did you sell my oil lamp? Nigel Havers. Nigel bloody Havers. You can't trust Nigel Havers. You can, he's so charming. He's, he's so not charming. He Look so at what charming. he's done to you. Look at what Nigel Havers has reduced you to. Right up until this moment, so I thought lovely. for a moment, Ooh, Reg is a good friend. He's a true friend. So far, in the last two and a half minutes, you've told me a lie. You've stolen my oil lamp, and you've sold it to Nigel Bloody Havers, and I knew you would. Yeah, but Nigel day. said he'd take me away in his car. Oh, yes. Oh. Take me up to the country. He's always planning on doing that with young, vulnerable people, so I don't see why you wouldn't do it with someone as decrepit and smelling of piss as yourself. I knew this day would come when Nigel Havers would make you betray my trust. <laughs> he's a bounder. He's a bounder. And that's that. I will not want you, what, you can't fall for Nigel Havers' little spells here. You find me someone who hasn't. I haven't. Well, you, that's because you're so obsessed with Nina Zabaroni. I'm not obsessed with her anymore. I thought I had a chance back in 1977 or something. And then I realized, oh no, haven't got a chance with her, fair enough. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll wait 41 years and then I'll have a chat with Reg about my oil lamp. Turns out you lied about the oil lamp. <coughs> you stole the oil lamp. And why is that? Because Nigel Bloody Havers wants to take you away. He's not going to take you away. He I says know. that to everybody. Uh, he will take you away. He won't take you away. He's promised it doesn't matter. He said that to so many people. Do you he know even what... bought me a little dress. Do you know what state he left poor old Robin Cook in? Robin Cook was devastated because of Nigel Haver's behaviour. Oh That's not easy to say. No. I suppose you're right. Sorry about your lamp. I'm sorry about your broken heart. <laughs> This dog. Which dog? A dog. A dog. Walks into a saloon. Well, hang on a moment. Right, tell me more about the dog. Well, a dog walks out, is it with its owner? No, no, no. For the purpose of this uh, amusing anecdote, this dog walks. You have to establish that this dog can walk. It's got legs. It's got legs. It's, not, it's got legs. It's not on a conveyor belt not on like a conveyor, on Bruce Forsyth's Generation walking. Games. It's actually walking. So it's a real dog with legs. Real dog with legs. Right, well, walking. we've got the premise. Okay. There's a dog and it's got legs and it's, it's walking. It's walking and it walks into a saloon. 
Well, a saloon. A saloon. As in the Wild West of America. Absolutely. You're with me. Right. There. Uh, okay. You're journeying beside me. Well, I... Almost know. holding my hands as we skip gaily through the scenery of my story. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're talking about the 1860s, 1870s. Yes, yes. Well, this dog's long dead. I don't, I'm not sure I believe the veracity of this story. Well, that's why its tail is worth telling. Uh, okay, so there's okay. a dog and it's got legs. It's got legs and it walks into a saloon. Okay. Okay. What's it called? The saloon. Uh, Nancy's legs or something. No, I don't the know. dog. What's the dog called? I don't know. Well, this is, you know it's got legs. You know when this is set. You know which country. And we don't know what the, the dog's called. The story doesn't say what the dog's called. But it's called Derek. Derek the dog. Derek the dog. Derek the dog. Let's make you happy. Can I continue now? Continue. Derek the dog's got legs. Right. So the dog walks into a saloon. Derek the dog walks in. Give him his name. Derek the dog walks into a saloon bar. Okay. Derek the dog walks into a saloon. I like this. Walks up to the bar. Okay. Looks at the barman. Well, uh, what sort of dog is he? I don't know, actually. Well, we need to know. Well, some. Which, we have to think of a dog that's got a good stern look, like a cowboy. Uh, cowboys aren't dogs. Like That's not a breed of... A, a basset, basset hound. Basset hound. Basset hound. He's a basset hound. Right. Derek the dog, the basset hound, walks into a saloon bar, goes looks up to the... the bar, looks at the barman. Looks at... Well, hang on. He has to lift up his eyebrows. He's because got, they've got those big droopy eyes. Well, he's got to stand on his hind legs now, hasn't he? Well, he walked. He walked on two legs. Yes. Oh. We've already established that part. Well, this is a different kettle of ball games, isn't it? So, okay. So, he, he walks into the saloon. Yeah. Looks at the barman, obviously lifting up his heavy eyelids, because those dogs, yeah. basset hounds, have big eyelids, ba- floppy eyelids. Bastard hound. Lifts up his eyelids, no. stares directly into the eyes of the barman, yeah. and says, whiskey. He wants to drink whiskey. He wants to drink whiskey. Okay. Now, I've, I've missed out an important fact here, uh, well, because of your, you know, because you wanted me to, to elaborate more on the... Scenery. I don't wish you to elaborate. I simply want to know the facts. There's the a very point. important fact. Now, this right. dog... Yeah, Derek. Derek. Derek the dog. Derek, sorry, Derek apologize. The Derek dog. the dog. Derek the dog. Has one of his paws, P- paws. paws in a bandage. Right. Well, hang on. This is an important fact. I want you to retain that piece of information. I'm retaining it, but he's walking... To get on. everything about being Derek or walking I'm in China. I'm not forgetting his identity. The most important bit of information is the... Paul that's bandaged. He's got a, but is he walking on his back legs? He's walking on his back legs. And is a front paw or a back paw He's bandaged? walking like a cowboy, like a, like, you know, a proper cowboy. John Wayne. John Wayne. Right, but is a front paw or a back paw bandaged? The front paw. Right, Derek the dog walks in. Come okay, on. let me establish it. So he, he, he slams his bandaged paw on the bar. Was this why? Like was a bang, a boom. Yeah. Yes. Is the doggy okay? Is he not injured? Well, he probably hurt a bit. Probably Ooh. chafed a bit when he Ooh. did that. Is the dog retarded? Well, the dogs don't feel it. The, well, not if you do it quickly. Yes, exactly. So he hit the bar with yep. his paw, yeah, yeah, yeah. looked at the barman, yeah, yeah, yeah. lifted up his eyelids, well, obviously with one what, paw because the other one's on the bar. What's the barman called? Uh, the barman is called David. So you've got Derek and David. This is... Oh, dear. Well, da- da- David... I'm sure there were a lot of Davids in... David the Welsh barman in the middle of the Arizona desert, presumably. Well, they, I'm sure it happened. I'm okay, sure it well, happened. well, let's assume that it did, OK. I'm and then sure what? that in the Clint Eastwood film... Yep. ...that some of the extras that were there in the film, you know, setting up the scene, I bet one of them was called David. And was Welsh. And was Welsh. Oh, I wouldn't have allowed it. Just because he didn't have a speaking part. Nah. Right. Anyway, with the story. Um, so, he slams his one bandaged paw down on the bar, yep. uses his other paw to lift up his eyebrows, yep. his heavy eyelids, and yep. stare the barman, David. David, directly in the eye and says, Whiskey. Is this the second time you said it, or is this now the first? This is the first time. I've just embellished it upon the story. Right, okay. So you so understand he's asked the story. Yes. So, okay. yeah. so he get the whiskey. David's the Welshman, David. being Welsh. Yes. Says, okay, boy, you Yeah. He probably didn't, but I've made it up just to make it more comfortable for you. Well, I'm happy. Yeah. Um, and he gives him this whiskey. So yeah. the dog, with his one good paw, uh, swigs back this whiskey. Oh, dear. In one shot. And then looks round to the other end of the bar. Yeah. And at the other end of the bar is a cowboy. Yeah. What's his name? His name is Andy. So you've got Derek, David, and Andy the cowboy. Andy the cowboy. Andy the cowboy, okay. 
Yeah, well, why not? Why not? It's fine. It's fine. Why not? I could say his name is Sally, if you like, if it makes you feel better. He's not a cowboy, then, is he? Well, actually, John Wayne was called Mandy, wasn't he? Well, was Sylvia? What was his name? Be Be Beryl. Beryl, Beryl Wayne. Yes, he, Beryl Wayne. I'm sure he had a woman who was born with a woman's name. Well, like Beryl. Yes. But so, anyway, uh, back, back to the story. Andy the barman. Andy the cowboy. Andy the Jesus cowboy. Christ, David's the barman. Yeah, uh, boy, and Derek's yeah. the dog. Oh, we go back to the beginning. Derek the dog slams his bad paw on the bar. Bandaged paw. Bandaged paw doesn't hurt him too much. No. Because he's a dog, he doesn't really feel it. Yep. His other paw, he lifts up his heavy eyelids, yep, look. looks David directly in the eyes and says, Whiskey. David, yep. being Welsh barman, obliges politely, yeah, gives him the whiskey. Derek the dog drinks the whiskey back very quickly, looks around the bar and sees Andy, Andy. the cowboy at the other end. Yes. What? Sorry, guess what he did? Uh, well, yeah, well, who did? Derek shot Andy. Who gave a dog a gun? The dog had a gun. He's a cowboy. Well, he hasn't got opposable thumbs. How's he going to operate a gun? We don't think about those things with his story. I mean, how much do you want me to embellish this bloody story? Is that just a stupid joke and you want me to fucking add to it like a fucking encyclopedia? Sorry, like it's a fucking war and peace. It's a joke. Yes. This didn't actually happen. No, it's just a joke to entertain you, you boring old fart. This is a complete waste of my time. It's not. I've just got to the punchline. I'm just getting there. I'm literally an inch away from the punchline. Say the punchline. Right. So Derek shot Andy the cowboy. Right. Now David, being Welsh. David the barman. The barman. Yeah. Said, what did you do that for? Is he from Africa now? No, <laughs> that's my Welsh. That's very good. What did you do that for? Bah. Bah. And uh, Derek... The dog. Lifted his eyebrow back up again. Okay. His eyelids, heavy eyelids. Yep. Looked into David's eyes. Yep. And said, lifting up his bad paw, he said, He shot my paw. He shot him in the paw? No, he shot my paw. He, his paw? Shot my paw. Well, that's why he's got it bandaged. Oh, for God's sake, man. Paw sounds like pa as an American accent. That's what they call their father. You didn't say the dog was American. But well, I think I established that with cowboys. I haven't seen any cowboys oh, in you Camden. Oh, you established that with, with, with cowboys, but apparently the barman's Welsh. Well, why not? Well, why is the dog American? America's full of bloody Welsh. Well, I didn't know that. Well, they had to go somewhere. How's Andy? He's dead, because he shot his pa. Did the dog suffer for its crime? No, apparently they made him sheriff. Really? Yes. Well, that's America for you. That's America. You can achieve anything. You can. If you've got a gun. And if you're a basset hound. Yes. Sorry about your lamp. I'm sorry about your broken heart. Trying to break up parts you met. <laughs> we'll revisit it's that. Nigel, I feel. It's Nigel been spending new flowers again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Yes. <laughs> oh, right. Next. <laughs>